ready to learn about water quality? I'm just a President Obama cartoon but this is an interesting opener to Whitney's physics project. Yukon is located just east of Alaska. Through a plan called Protect the Peel, 80% of Yukon's environment is protected. There are many sources regarding the water quality of Yukon. People, industries, and wildlife all depend on this water source. However, 20% of Yukon is not protected and industries continue to ruin the environment. In such a beautiful place, it's really important that we find a greater solution to the environmental problems that we, as people, are causing. In Yukon, the government monitors all water use. If you'd like to use water for a specific purpose, you should get a permit. There are many agencies and networks that help with this. You can request a water catalog to test your water. The water use is completely and utterly dependent on the precipitation per year. You can't deny that there's a climate change in Yukon because more snow is melting each year and the precipitation patterns show that the atmospheric vapor is increasing. So, if you haven't caught on so far, this presentation has been talking about Yukon, Canada, which is just right up above the United States on the, the left-hand corner. Even though 80% of the environment is actually protected, there's still a lot of damage going on in the environment. Fixing the water. It's totally possible. What do we have to do? Let's identify the problem. There are too many minerals in the water. The water quality itself has gone down because of people polluting in our water sources. We have to find those concentrated sites and make even larger consequences for people and businesses that decide to pollute the natural environment. To fix the actual water itself, we need better, bigger, and more advanced technology such as the ones I'm about to show you. For example, let's say this is a river. This would be like a toxic pipe that came from a business. If it is leaking out toxic chemicals into the water source, we have to send our guy, send our guy over here, he checks it out, he finds the source, and what does he do? He charges them a big fine, possibly enough to shut down their entire business. And he goes to them with a lawsuit, da da da, saying, you can't do this. That's not right. And this can be an entire team, not necessarily one person. He makes sure that everyone knows that that business did that. And that makes for a bunch of angry customers. And these angry customers are happy not to purchase from that place. Let's say this pile of stuff is our water, and our water gets captured, so doo doo doo, almost looks like a piece of water bacon. A good idea to fix this is to capture all of that water and send it through a few panels. In these panels, the water is filtered through, so the first panel has harsh toxic chemicals that kill the bad stuff, like toxic waste. The second is just a regular filter. And the third is a treatment of algae or of some sort. So green monsters eat them. Just kidding. It's, it'll be some sort of algae that destroys any human waste. And then the water can be on its way out. Bad water comes in. Da 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 da. Goes through a good filtration system. Comes out clean. So that's where bright ideas come from. And water falls right over there in Yukon, Canada. Have a good week, physics, and I'll see you next time. Bye.